Within a month of India proposing to scrap retrospective tax cases, UK energy major Ken has agreed to take back all cases against the country within days of India returning $1 billion. As a part of its tax reform and in order to attract investments, India last month decided to cancel a 2012 policy of retrospective taxation. Through the retrospective taxation policy, the tax department could go back 50 years and slap capital gains levies wherever ownership had changed hands overseas, but business assets were in India. Ken Energy has also pledged to return up to $700 million to shareholders through a special dividend and a share buyback this year as a signal the long-running billion-dollar tax dispute with India may be nearing an end. And for more on this, let's go straight across to our business editor, Sumit Chaturvedi, joining us on the broadcast. Sumit, does this mean, though, that uh, with this, uh, the tax dispute is nearing an end? Well, absolutely. This was the most contentious case KN India had filed against the Indian government in overseas and global arbitrations were uh, carried on. But now it looks like uh, the finally they are both uh, smoking the peace pipe. Now, Kane today said that they, it will accept the order. And after accepting the $1 billion from India's side, it will stop having these cases filed against Indian properties, diplomatic apartments in Paris, and the overall case they were having against Air India in US. So with this, yes, it, it looks like they're both, the both parties, Kane India and the Indian government, they both are nearing an end to this tax dispute. It was going on since many, many years because first Indian government demanded money, it, it exceeds the assets, then Kane took Indian government to courts, international courts, and thereafter it became quite ugly later on. Retrospective tax cases, well, they, the overall thing was brought to an end last month when Sita Raman finally Minister announced that this uh, move will be scrapped. So yes, there is a overall uh, relief as far as this tax issue is concerned. Right. And do we expect transparent and applicable uh, closure of the other cases as well now? Well, it depends on case to case basis. Well, 17 cases are going on currently in international courts as far as this retro tax is concerned. India and other 17 organizations, including Vodafone, they are uh, they were having problem with this retrospective tax cases running into billions of dollars. So funds, it's finally decided now that ret retrospective taxes will not be taken from the companies. All other uh, companies will fall in line. It looks like and taking a cue from Kane settlement with Indian government. All other it looks like finally will have to find some or the other settlements with the Indian government. Though there were news reports that said that uh, they have the companies have a uh, problem with a certain clause that Indian government wants all kind of uh, claims to be settled or oh, with, with the companies and their show, shareholders. But it looks like with Kane India falling in place, other cases will also fall in place. Sumit Chaturvedi leaving it there for the moment. Thanks very much for those updates. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.